First, I'd like to thank our amazing board of directors, associate board, staff, sponsors, and each and every one of you for making tonight possible. We couldn't do this work without you. Um, can I ask Athlete Allies board, associate board, and staff to please stand so we can give you a proper thank you? <laughs> uh, I also want to give a special thank you to Target for being our presenting sponsor tonight. Thank you, Target. Um, I am standing in front of you tonight because of a sticker that changed my life. Uh, eight years ago, I was a college wrestler who dreamt that sport could be different. I believed then, as I believe now, that sport could be a place that welcomed and affirmed everyone. That sport could be a place that taught healthy and inclusive masculinities and femininities. I believe then, as I believe now, that if sport were to embrace the full diversity of those people who were trying to access it, then the world would be a dramatically different and better place. <laughs> to help uh, affect that change in my own small way, I chose to wrestle with an LGBTQ equality sticker on my headgear and spoke with a reporter about why it was important for me to be an ally uh, in st standing up for equality. I woke up the next day to thousands of emails from closeted athletes from across the country. And I realized then that I had a platform, that people cared what I thought and had to say because I was a successful athlete. And that if we could educate and activate other members of the athletic community, that maybe, just maybe, things could change. I founded Athlete Ally with that vision in mind, and I'm proud to say that we've exceeded even my wildest expectations in the past eight years. Athlete Ally works to champion LGBTQ inclusion in and through sport in three strategic and specific ways, seeking to solve three systemic problems in sports. Problem number one, the people with the most power and influence are often the least educated on LGBTQ respect and inclusion. We work to change this. Well, it's not a clap. I mean, it, I mean, it is, but it isn't, no. Um, we work to change this by bringing LGBTQ education to those who need it most, from classrooms to playing field to boardrooms and beyond. This is why we launched Champions of Inclusion, which is a free online coaches curriculum that has been distributed and adopted nationwide. Thanks to Champions of Inclusion, geography and costs will no longer be excuses for coaches not to get educated uh, about how they can best support their LGBTQ athletes and fans. Um, in addition, this year also marks the sixth year uh, that we've had the opportunity to train every incoming NBA player on LGBTQ respect and inclusion. It, it is through these proactive and intentional conversations that more allies will feel comfortable speaking out and hopefully more players will feel comfortable coming out. Problem number two, the policies governing sport do not reflect the full diversity of people who are trying to access sports. We work to change this by helping teams, leagues, and, and sport governing bodies adopt the most inclusive policies. One of the most important vehicles through which we change sport policies is our Athletic Equality Index. The AEI is a first of its kind ranking and reporting of the LGBTQ inclusiveness of the 65 biggest college athletic departments. As we prepare to launch our second iteration of the AEI, I have to say the impact of this work is undeniable. Uh, I want to take a moment to call out some of the biggest changes that have happened thanks to this work. From the time of our initial outreach to now, the number of schools with trans-inclusive policies has gone from three to 30. The number of colleges with a perfect score of 100 has quadrupled. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Two-thirds of schools now have inclusive fan codes of conduct in place. This is more than double the number of schools from 2017. Um, and I also want to specifically give a shout out to the University of Pittsburgh for going from a 45, 48 to a 95. 47-point um, improvement. These policy changes really, really matter. Thanks to this work, more and more LGBTQ fans don't have to choose between being out and attending a sporting event, and more and more transgender athletes don't have to choose between being themselves and playing the sport that they love. 
We plan to rank every Division I school next year and every NCAA institution in the years that follow. While there is still so much that needs to change, I am confident that the AEI is one of the ways in which we will get there. Okay, you still with me? <laughs> Problem number three. Athletes are routinely silenced and discouraged from using their platform to change the world. We work to change this by trying to make athlete activism not just accepted, but expected. We do this by educating and activating over 250 Olympic, Paralympic, and professional athlete ally ambassadors and students at 30 athlete ally college chapters to speak out for what they believe in. Um, some of our athlete ally ambassadors are here with us tonight. Thanks to their advocacy, leadership, and allyship, they're helping change the tide. Um, if you're an Athlete Ally Ambassador, can you also please stand up? We'd love to give you a, uh, a round this of This past May, we held our first ever Student Athlete Activism Summit, where we provided student athletes the tools they needed to champion LGBTQ equality on their campuses and in their communities. We plan to hold these summits annually and across the country. This is how we will build a better movement of athlete activists. You'll see a video later tonight about that summit, but we're really excited about that work. Um, all of this work is made possible thanks to the generous support uh, and thanks to the advocacy and activism of tonight's honorees. Tonight, we honor Colin Martin for breaking stigma as the only openly gay active MLS player. Andrea Yearwood and Terry Miller for speaking out on the rights of trans women of color. Not only, not only to survive, but also to thrive. Um, and Allie Krieger and Ashlyn Harris, right, for using their platform to call out bullying, racism, and discrimination, and to stand for the rights of people uh, who are for be, to be who they are. This year has tested uh, many of us like never before. We've seen the rights of the LGBTQ community and the most marginalized groups come under attack. And yet, we've seen time and time again that the boldest among us will not be silenced. and We will not back down. Tonight, we honor the tremendous power of persistence. We will never stop fighting until every person is not just accepted, but welcomed and included in all areas of their life, especially and in including sports. Thank you for standing and fighting alongside with us every step of the way. Thank you all so much.